V20 Pro comes in a pretty chunky box. Uh, on the back, we have some of its main features mentioned and that's about it though. Let's take this wrapping off and see what's inside. Okay, so first up we have a little cardboard sleeve with a bunch of things inside. Uh, these include a transparent silicone case. You get some manuals and of course a SIM eject tool. Then we also have the USB Type-C cable. And finally, we get to the V20 Pro itself. Now, as you can probably tell, this is the Sunset Melody color, which I think looks very nice. Let's put it aside for the moment and check out the rest of the contents. This is the power adapter and it is a 33 watt flash charge 2.0 adapter for fast charging. We also have a Type-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. And finally, we have a headset. So overall, a pretty good bundle with everything you need to get started right out of the box. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up the Vivo V20 Pro. And uh, before we get into the specifications, let's take a quick look uh, around the phone itself. Um, as you can see, it's mostly, it's got a glossy finish all around. This is a plastic frame, uh, but it does feel relatively sturdy. I mean, uh, it's not, there is no uh, flex or uh, you know anything if you even apply a bit of pressure like this so that's good uh, it is quite light uh, it's based just around 170 grams which is good and it's not too thick as well this is about 7.49 millimeters uh, in thickness now as i mentioned earlier this is the sunset melody color which i think looks really cool uh, but it's also available in a midnight jazz variant if you don't want something too flashy now over to the right we have the volume buttons we have this uh, textured power button which is nice uh, it's not a much on the other side down at the bottom we have a dual sim tray it only supports two nano sims uh, type c port single speaker over here coming to the top we have the earpiece and we have two cameras this time which we will get into shortly but that's about it we just have a microphone on the top over here so overall uh, i think the v20 pro looks uh, pretty neat but that uh, second selfie camera uses more space in the front so you have a little wider notch which does make the display look a little old-fashioned if i'm being honest but maybe not a lot of people uh, would mind that now the speaking of the display itself we have a 6.44 inch amoled display uh, you also get an in-display fingerprint sensor like this and it seems to work pretty well uh, it's a full HD plus display but uh, unfortunately it's just 60 Hertz so you don't get the 90 Hertz refresh rate like some other phones in this price segment now the display itself obviously has protective uh, scratch protective glass so in the front your Vivo has used a uh, scratch protective glass from short whereas at the back of the phone it's using Corning Gorilla Glass 5 so again a pretty a pretty premium build quality all around for the v20 pro which is nice now one of the big differences between the v20 pro and of course the regular v20 is the soc so this one has a qualcomm snapdragon 765g soc and what this means is uh, this is uh, also supports 5g now there's only one variant of this phone uh, in india it comes with 8 gb of ram and you get 128 GB of storage. Uh, in terms of software, this is running obviously FunTouch OS 11. I'll just quickly show you that. And this is still based on Android 10. It's FunTouch OS 11. It's based on Android 10, which is fine. Uh, the UI does have some heavy customizations. There are some, uh, you know, pre-installed bloatware and stuff, but we'll see if we can get rid of those uh, later on. Uh, but the interface seems pretty nice. You have an app prod, uh, you get this uh, universal search feature. If you do a swipe down gesture, and you get this uh, pretty stock looking uh, toggle switches uh, in the notification shape. So all in all, pretty nice. Uh, finally, let's go over the camera. So let's begin with the front camera itself. Uh, in the front, you have 
two cameras this time so there is the 44 megapixel camera but you also get an additional 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera uh, which is nice and coming to the back uh, we have a triple camera setup over here so over here we have a primary 64 megapixel uh, sensor uh, followed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide and then we have a, a 2 megapixel monochrome camera so the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera is pretty interesting because uh, it has autofocus and it does let you do a bunch of different things uh, for instance you can uh, use it as a super macro camera as well so it's the same uh, ultra wide angle camera that can be used for macro photos as well as wide angle shots which uh, is a nice touch you also get obviously a bunch of different shooting modes which you can play around with but the cool thing is that because of this more powerful SOC uh, you do get 4k 60 fps for video recording uh, for the rear and the front camera which is really neat and once again you can see that last but not least uh, the v20 pro has a 4000 mAh battery inside and you also get 33 watt fast charging with the fast charger bundle in the box itself.